How you doing? I'm Randall, and this guy with his badass pants is JJ, probablygottrained.com. In this video, we're going to teach you guys what's called a single leg option when you're in the uh, sit-up position. I'm, first of all, I'm going to explain why you need to know this, because you might have trouble using the double leg option or the sit-through and take the back option. Okay, so here's the first problem is this. I get stuffed in this position for whatever reason. As you guys know, if the knees are in close, we can grab both legs, get our head to the side, go into our double leg option. So that's obviously one of the options right there. And then also, as you guys know, if they're sprawling, you can't reel in the legs, we can sit through and take the back. But there's gonna be some problems where these particular options will fail. First reason is this. If JJ has one knee up and one leg sprawled back, so now I can't reel in this leg, I can only grab one leg. That's why, that's one reason to do the single leg option. Another option is this, is he might be sprawling, but not all the way back. So he's kind of in between. He doesn't have his knees up high, half that sprawl. So I can grab his leg, but I can't pull him in. Maybe I'm not strong enough. Maybe my leg, my arms are too short. So I might not be able to finish the double leg here. And another problem that might come up is he's very good about keeping his hips or his body on top of my head. So every time I try to peek my head to the side, he stuffs my head back down to the floor, which makes it very, very difficult to finish the double leg. So for these three reasons, it's good to know the single leg option. And basically we're gonna do a head inside single leg, just like you did in level three, standing up, we're gonna be doing it from our knees here. So it's pretty simple. We'll do this leg here so you guys can see the camera. So whatever knee is closest, that's the leg that I'm gonna attack. So I'm gonna take my safe side arm, so in this case my right arm, I'm gonna bring it around his leg. Notice that that palm is down. The other palm goes up, thumbs next to the fingers, I'm gonna do my gable grip or palm to palm grip. Once I establish this grip, it's very important that I slide my same side knee as close to his knee as possible. Now to finish the single leg, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this leg off to the side, similar to when you do a knee on stomach type of position. And as soon as I post that leg, I'm gonna be driving with it, driving with my head and scooping out his knee to the opposite direction. So my body weight goes this way, my arms go the opposite direction, and over it goes. And then from here, we can finish the side mount knee on belly or whatever, but basically we should be out of that position. So I'm going to do it again, but on the opposite side now. So I can't finish the double leg, I can't do the sit through, but I can attack this leg, palm down, other palm is up, clasp your hands together, same side knee, bring as close as possible, and then as soon as I do that, I'm going to post the other leg out, and as soon as I post that leg, it's very, very important that you drive immediately, don't leave the hand out here forever, because a good rush is going to snatch that leg up and put you in a cradle. So as soon as I post it out, Boom, over it goes, then we fight from there. So, where this, the reason why we start integrating this is because our level four <laughs> students, when we start pressure testing it, basically meaning the defender, or the attacker, excuse me, is not cooperating, this problem came up a lot. The head gets stuffed underneath, they, that especially our, our ladies can't reel in the guy's legs, um, they can't get their head up, there's a lot of different reasons, but the single leg option will come in real handy. So I would suggest integrating this with your other three um, uh, sit out techniques and you'll have a lot more success when you're doing live training. Anyways, try it out. I think you'll have some success. And uh, I and these awesome fans will see you.